Hello, everybody. Heidly Ho, neighbor. Um, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Welcome to the video. Uh, wanted to do a little follow up on a few things and uh, share something with you that I was reading today that I thought was really uh, kind of a neat way of looking at uh, writing and putting writing together. But of course, first, some shameless plugs. We have a contest going on till the end of August. If you purchase the Queen's Road, here it is, the Queen's Road audiobook from Audible. Uh, if you purchase that between now and August 31st, you are going to be in the running to be selected to get a hardcover, which I believe is this right here, hardcover of the Queen's Road, uh, signed by me, any way you like, from the wonderful people at Falstaff Books. Um, basically, if you purchase uh, Queen's Road, let me find it here, there it is. Thanks for bearing with me. I have like 8 million things opened up. I really need to stop doing that, but I just, it's kind of, kind of my way. Um, if you purchase Queen's Road audiobook, uh, give me some kind of a proof of purchase, take a picture, send me a screenshot, screen capture, uh, whatever. Uh, you can send it to me through email. You can send it to me through the comment sections on the videos. Uh, send it to me on Facebook, um, however you want to do it, send me those and uh, you're in the running. Um, like I said, we're going to keep doing this through August 31st and then I will pull a name out using my, probably my fantastic D&D &D dice, uh, polyhedrals to those in the business. Um, and we'll have a winner. So thank you so much for participating in that if you've already done it. And if you haven't, uh, I would strongly urge you to. I'm very excited about uh, what's coming up next for The Queen's Road and the series. The next book is called The Queen's War. And uh, I'm excited to get started on that probably next year is what it's looking like right now. So, got that taken care of. I wanted to show you guys this right here. I've been reading several different books kind of at once that were helpful to me uh, over the years when I was writing. And this one was one of the ones that was recommended to me by a teacher friend of mine. And it was a very, really fantastic read and kind of meditations on, on writing and putting it all together. It's called Writing Down the Bones, Freeing the Writer Within. It's by Natalie Goldberg. It's a very popular book. It's been around forever. Um, I was going to read you a little piece out of my really banged up copy that I have that I came across today and I thought you guys might find it interesting. It's called Baking a Cake. When you bake a cake, you have ingredients, sugar, flour, butter, baking soda, eggs, milk. You put them in a bowl and you mix them up. But this does not make a cake. This makes goop. You have to put them in the oven and add heat or energy to transform into cake. And the cake looks nothing like its original ingredients. Uh, it's a lot like parents unable to claim their hippie kids as their own in the 60s. Milk and eggs look at the pound cake and say, not ours, not egg, not milk, but PhD, daughter of refugee parents, a foreigner in her own home. Can you kind of get an idea of when this was written, maybe? <laughs> in a sense, this is what writing is like. You have all these ingredients, the details of your life, but, you just, but just to list them is not enough. I was born in Brooklyn. I have a mother and a father. I am female. You must add the heat and energy of your heart. This is not just any father. This is your father. The character who smoked cigars and put too much ketchup on his steak. The one you loved and hated. You can't just mix the ingredients in a bowl. They have no life. You must become one with the details in love or hate. They become an extension of your body. Nabokov says, 
caress the divine details. He doesn't say jostle them in place or bang them around. Caress them. Touch them tenderly. Care about what is around you. Let your whole body touch the river you're writing about. So you can call it yellow or stupid or slow. All of you is feeling it. There should be no separate uh, there should be no separate you when you're deeply engaged. Katagiri Rushi said, when you do zazen, setting med meditation, you should be gone. So zazen does not zazen. Not Steve or Barbara does zazen. This is also how you should be when you write. Writing does writing. You disappear. You simply record the thoughts that are streaming through you. The cake is baking in the oven. All that heat goes into the making of that cake. The heat is not distracted thinking. Oh, I want to be a chocolate cake, not a pound cake. You don't think as you write. Oh, I don't like my life. I should have been born in Illinois. <laughs> you don't think. You accept what is and put it down its truth. I really like that. That's hard to do sometimes. Katagari Roshi says that, Literature will tell you what life is, but it won't tell you how to get out of it. Ovens can be cantankerous sometimes, and you might have to learn ways to turn your heat on. Timing your writing adds pressure and adds to heat things up and blast through the internal sensor. Also, keeping your hand moving and not stopping adds to the heat. So a beautiful cake may rise out of the mixture of your daily details. If you find yourself checking the clock too much as you write, say to yourself that you are going to keep writing until three or four or five pages. Both sides are filled or until the cake is baked, however long that takes. And, you never, and you're never sure once the heat begins whether you'll get a devil's food or an angel food cake. There are no guarantees. Don't worry. They're both good to eat. There are people who try to use heat only without ingredients to make a cake. The heat is cozy and it feels good. And when you're done, there's not much there for anyone else to eat. That's usually abstract writing. We get a sense there is great warmth there, but we have nothing to bite into. If you use details, you become better skilled at conveying your ecstasy or your sorrow. So while you fly around in the heat of the oven, Bring in the batter in the pan so we know exactly what your feelings taste like. So we may be a gourmet of them. Oh, it's pound cake, a brownie, a light lemon souffle. That is what her feelings feel like, not it was great. It was great. Yes, it was great. But how great? Give us the flavor. In other words, use details. They are the basic unit of writing. I like that too. And in using them, you are not only baking cakes and buzzing around the oven, in writing with detail, you are turning to face the world. It is a deeply political act because you are not just staying in the heat of your own emotions. You're offering up some good solid bread for the hungry. A little hippie, <laughs> more than a little hippie but some really good stuff in there. Um, it is, especially if you make a living as a writer, it, it sometimes, in, in my experience, has been very difficult sometimes to separate myself from the, the punch card, nine to five sort of aspect of the job and, and focus more on, on, on pulling, pulling things out of myself that are true pulling things out of myself that are, that are solid and, and, and provide sustenance to the people who are going to read them. Because you're like, on a deadline, I got to get this thing done. I've got this thing to do after this thing. I'm, I'm dealing with this on the book I'm on right now. I am loving what I'm writing. I'm really enjoying writing this book, but I got things to do. I, I want to try to get, you know, a couple more books out this year. So it's a constant battle between looking at the clock, saying I'm gonna write this much tonight and no more, or um, 
I'm trying to get some stuff together for the Patreon. So I'm working on a piece of short fiction, which I'm really enjoying that too. And it's sort of like this dance between, well, I'll work on this for a while and I'll work on that for a while. And part of that is, is the job of writing. I mean, it is a job. You have deadlines and commitments. You have to meet them. But it's a lot more than that. And, and you know that or else you wouldn't want to be doing it. If you've read a book that really moved you, if you read a book and you're like, God, I wish this book wasn't stopping. If you've ever read a book where it's like you start slowing down because you don't want it to be over. There's so much power in that. And that comes from from that messy baking process of, of pouring all this stuff together and then giving it heat, giving it energy, giving it power. And uh, it, that, that little piece today, when I read it, it really reminded me of that. And I wanted to share it with you because it's important. You know, there's, there's the nuts and bolts and business of, of, of writing as a job, but there's also the part of it that is kind of unspoken, the part that it's hard to even really put into words that made you want to start writing in the first place, makes you want to start writing now. They're both important and you need to feed both of them. So I just wanted to share that with you. So this is a kind of a quick one tonight. Um, I hope everyone is well. It is pouring down the rain here and it's the first time in I don't know how long we've had rain. We've had 90 plus over a hundred degree weather here for a long freaking time. So it's kind of nice to hear the rain a little bit tonight. Tomorrow I'm sure it will be that's my that's my superpower is pessimism i am i am very certain that tomorrow it'll be hot as hell again but at least for tonight it's pouring down the rain it's cool and it's quiet and it's nice it's lovely so have a wonderful evening uh if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please consider subscribing click on the little bell so you'll get notifications when i have stuff coming out uh please consider um purchasing the audible uh, audiobook of The Queen's Road. So you can gank yourself a free copy of the hardcover of The Queen's Road, uh, signed by yours truly. Um, consider checking out my Patreon page. I'm going to put that link up in the description of the video. Uh, I, got a, I got a writer group is my, my top tier. I got a writer group patron this week and I'm so thankful for that. Thank you if you're watching this. Um, so I'm gonna get to do, uh, start doing the writer's workshop. If that's something that interests you, and again, I know it's you know, a little pricey, so I know it may not be something you can, you can do, but um, you can always maybe do it later if you know, fortunes change. So, but I was really excited about that. And a good friend of mine who is one of the players in my Amber Diceless role-playing game uh, came on board as a patron and that was really exciting too thank you calvin you're you're the best um so anyways have a wonderful evening uh and we will see you at the, on the next video hope everyone has a good night take care